Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's September 13th. I just would like to cover something uh, with you real quick. Um, when you're younger and you don't know the, the reasoning between right and wrong, uh, and you don't quite understand that yet, but as you get older, you start to understand it. Doing something that's wrong, doing something that's right. When you get there and you start understanding that, between wrong and right, you start to research things. And you start to uncover things. Like, for example, you know when you're under a milky cloud or a milky covered uh, sky for seven days of on and off rain, you know it's wrong, okay? You know when you see a plane and it's emitting a long trail of clouds and they expand and cover the sky, you know that's wrong. And when you see weather patterns, unusually change before your eyes after decades and you can remember you know it's wrong when you're seeing storms intensify from when you were a kid get worse you know it's wrong and when you see institutions teach incorrect information to your children, you know it's wrong. And try to win bread that we live on a globe by putting a globe in every single classroom, you know it's wrong. And when you uncover the institutions f forcing you to go to school and get a college education and get and become indoctrinated with all the horse shit that they teach, you know it's wrong. And when you know that the institution has been created to get your children in debt above their eyeballs and to confuse them with all the electronics and all the gadgets and all the nonsense that's out there. You wake up one day and you know it's wrong. Something's not right. And when you look at the su supposed ISS up in the sky, when one of the biggest hurricanes is hitting the East Coast, and they can't even produce a freaking picture of the hurricane that's accurate, you know it's wrong. And when you're shown pictures of planets and stars, and you finally one day go out and take a look at them yourself, and compare your pictures to NASA's pictures, you know it's wrong. When you know everything is wrong about all the politicians and everything that's going on, and the corruption that's going on, and the money that's being hidden, And all the lies the media has, and all the nonsense that they cover, you know it's wrong. And when you uncover something that's the biggest thing in the entire world, 
and you've been told that it's a globe when you know water can't bend you know we can't be moving at a thousand miles per hour you know that there is no space up there that there is no ISS that there's too much evidence that proves all of this you know the globe is wrong And that's how most people become a flat earther. I wanted to throw that out in there just to try to wake more people up. I've been talking to some people in the last couple of days, and uh, <laughs> what a disappointment. I'll tell you what a disappointment. But I don't care. I don't care. We just, us flat earthers, we just continue going. I want you to take a look at the uh, bullshit the ISS is shoveling out with this hurricane. I thought this thing was moving at 20,000 miles per hour around the, the planet. How the hell could they take a still shot of the fucking hurricane down in North Carolina? Come on, guys. Think. Wake up. They can't. They can't even get a shot of them moving and the hurricane moving below them. Because they can't get the speed right. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. My all this evidence, all of this nonsense is there for everybody to see. But they still can't see that this thing does not exist up there. You know, I, it really is. It's it's crazy. It really is. These zombies that are all around us that are don't know what's going on. Some of them are waking up. I'm not saying everybody isn't. And hell, I was there too. So I'm not going to say that I that you know I I don't I don't understand what their situation is, but. I mean, they can't even get a correct picture of the hurricane, for Christ's sake. They can't show us this thing moving at the same time and having the hurricane move at whatever mile per hour they're going, 10,000 or 20,000, I'm not sure off the top of my head. And they can't do it. <laughs> they, they just they can't. There are too many of us out there now that will debunk it. So what do they do? They show a still shot of it, you know? I don't know how they're getting this shot. I mean, obviously, there's no satellites up there. It must be the Google plane or something like that. I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? It's just all bullshit. You know? Case in point, another one. Anyway, look, I just wanted to throw that out there and, and just have people think about it. I mean, really. I mean, we're talking about coverage of a hurricane that's the most powerful one. I mean, to hit this coast, the East Coast, in many, many decades. You know, there should be full coverage of this thing. The ISS should be out there with 20 fucking cameras taking a picture of this, videotaping it, and sending it to the weatherman so he can get an accurate report of exactly what the hell this is going to do. You know, is it going to hit the coastline at a Cat 4? You know, or is it going to hit at a Cat 2? You know, are these people going to have to worry about their lives? Or are they just going to have to hunker down and get a sandwich and enjoy the show? You know, you're telling me they're not seeding these storms. That's complete horseshit. The storms have gotten progressively worse around me and around everybody else. And you see it. We've been in a, in a rain cloud here for seven days now. Milky white clouds. That's not natural, guys. That's not a natural weather pattern. All right. All right. I thank you for subbing. I thank you for uh, viewing my videos. And I thank you for letting me be a part of your life.